Well, we're delighted today at three to announce a 38 million investment in fibre optic cabling right across the country uh, to 200 of our high sites, which will take in over 1,000 of our sites, 83% of our network, which will allow us at three to provide speeds on broadband of up to 100 megabits per second. The investment is driven through the uh, explosion of uh, mobile broadband to start with in terms of people wanting to access broadband on the go. We're the market leaders in that, so we're taking lead, the lead again in the industry in investing behind the technology to make sure that this continues, plus also the explosion in the smartphones, where again we're leading um, and selling two to three times what everybody else is selling. So we want to make sure that we continue with this investment to make sure that our customers have the best experience. BT have been our partners for a number of years. Um, we engaged them to uh, roll out the National Broadband Scheme for us, and we've worked very effectively with them. And we've spent uh, you know, close to £800 million on our infrastructure over the last six to seven years, and a lot of that in partnership with British Telecom. Um, our mobile smartphone business is uh, expanding at a massive rate, and that's because we're providing value to people. So the current climate while it's a recessionary, people are looking for value, they're looking for a service and quality. We provide value, service and quality, so people are moving in their throbs to three. We're the first to roll out what we call a 3G or broadband network, which allows us to provide mobile broadband services, but also enables smartphones to work and people access the internet on their phone, Facebook, Bebo, booking flights, etc. We're at the forefront of that, and uh, we're delighted that our time has come. There will be 350 million smartphones sold around the world this year, and we intend to sell a lot of them here in Ireland. Well, I'm always loath to talk about my competitors because uh, they always follow us, but they're certainly not investing in the market at the moment. You only have to look at the fixed incumbent, Aircom, very little investment, um, a lot of argument about what they should be investing in. They're more concerned about their shareholding than investing. We're investing in the future. We were the first to launch a 3G network, a broadband mobile network in this market, the others followed. We're now investing in a transmission side to enable 100 megabits per second to be delivered to our customers. I'm sure the others will follow in time.